Looking for magic cards or magic carps? On the new CFB Marketplace you can buy sealed products and singles directly from local game stores. Support the channel by using the referral code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today I'm very excited to present this blue-white vehicles deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring a ton of new cards from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, alongside our old favorite combo of Colossal Plow, alongside a Giant Ox, and now we have more ways than ever before to crew the Colossal Plow, making it even better. So let's dive right into it, starting out with our one drops, where we've got a full playset of Hotshot Mechanic, a 2-1 artifact Fox Pilot that can crew vehicles as though its power were two greater, so essentially satisfies crew four, which is quite nice for one drop. Then we also have two copies of Portable Hole as some early removal. Then moving on to two mana, of course, a full playset of Colossal Plow, a 6 3 with crew six, so not the easiest to crew, but when a plow attacks, we add triple white to our mana pool and gain three life, and that mana doesn't go away until the end of our turn. So it can give us some very explosive starts if we get to play turn two Colossal Plow and potentially turn three Giant Ox, which is an 0 6 that can crew vehicles using its toughness rather than its power, so the Giant Ox can crew Colossal Plow and any other vehicle in our deck. Then we also have the full playset of Ingenious Smith, a 1-1 that when it enters the battlefield lets us take a look at the top four cards of our library, revealing an artifact from among them and putting it into our hand. And we've got about half of our deck as artifacts, so we're pretty likely to hit something useful with the Ingenious Smith. And then whenever one or more artifacts enter the battlefield under our control, we get to put a plus one plus one counter on the Ingenious Smith, only triggers once each turn, so we'll also grow over time, turning into an actual win condition. Then we've got more vehicles with a mobilizer mech, a 3-4 with a crew cost of 3, also has flying, and when the mech becomes crewed, up to one other target vehicle we control becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. So crew 3 a lot easier than crew 6, so the mobilizer mech can also help us enable the colossal plow even without a giant ox. And then we also have the full playset of a Reckoner Bankbuster, a 4-4 with crew 3, and enters the battlefield with 3 charge counters on it, can pay 2 mana, tap it, remove a charge counter to draw a card, so a nice card draw engine in the grindier matchups, and once we remove the final charge counter, we get to make a treasure token and a 1-1 colorless pilot creature token that can crew vehicles as though its power were 2 greater, so it satisfies crew 3, which is perfect for crewing the Bankbuster and the Mobilizer mech, and two of them can together crew a colossal plow and in fact we can make two of those tokens by channeling born to drive for two and a white we can discard it to make those tokens at instant speed and since this is a channel ability and not a spell we're casting it also circumvents your traditional counter spells can also be played as an enchantment aura sometimes enchanting an artifact or creature giving it plus one plus one for each creature and or vehicle we control but for the most part we want to use it for the channel ability then we also have the full playset of Prodigy's Prototype, a 3-mana three 3-4 three, vehicle with a crew cost of 2, saying whenever one or more vehicles we control attack, we get to make a 1-1 one, one pilot token. So the prototype itself doesn't even have to be attacking to generate that pilot, so we can sometimes play it, crew a different vehicle, and make a pilot token right away, which will help us crew future vehicles, so we don't get stranded with a bunch of artifacts that cannot attack. And then topping off our curve, we've got the full playset of Surge Hacker Mech, a 4-mana 5-5 five five vehicle with a crew cost of 4, also has Menace, and when it enters the battlefield it deals damage equal to twice the number of vehicles we control to target creature or planeswalker an opponent controls, so a nice removal spell on a stick. And then in our mana base, very important are the four copies of Mech Hanger, which can make colorless mana, can make a mana of any color to spend on vehicles or pilot spells, which is useful for casting Mobilizer Mech and an early hotshot mechanic, so the mana fixing is very useful. And then for three mana we can tap it, and then target vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. So another great way to crew Colossal Plow, and a way for us to potentially animate all our vehicles after a sweeper effect if we've lost all our author creatures, and then with Prodigy's prototype, we can still potentially generate additional pilot tokens to help us re-establish a board presence. And then we've got some additional mana fixing with our pathway, deserted beach, we've got one of each channel land with Soaring City, and Seed of the Empire, five planes and islands, and two copies of Cave of the Frost Dragon as an additional creature land. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand is missing blue mana for Mobilizer. Even with blue mana, this hand's not all that exciting. So I think we can do better. Alright, this looks better. 
so might have to use hangar to crew everything or if we can uh, enable the mech we can turn on plow so tempted to keep the prodigy so we can potentially make more uh, pilots that way so might have to ditch the mech although mech is a good combo with the extra mana from plow i'll try this And then anything to help us crew mobilizer mech will be great. Valky won't be able to take any of our creatures. Field of Ruins kind of scary, although backup hangar is useful. So the highest upside is playing plow in case we draw the one mana pilot to crew the mech and turn on plow. Which may be worth it. Could also just draw an ox to crew the plow. Is your opponent on some sort of Amazon mid range deck? Ingenious Smith to draw. Could play it, although wouldn't be able to crew the plow with it this turn, even if we find the one mana pilot. Could just play a prototype, keeping the hangar safe in our hands. And then next turn, we could potentially crew some stuff. Plays around instant speed removal as well. That seems fine. And then we can maybe double spell Smith and Mech. And then we can potentially set up a fun chain of crewing vehicles. Smith crews prototype, which crews Mech, which crews plow. Could see a binding take care of one of our vehicles. Yep. Alright, so now I could just use the hangar to crew plow, and then we can still play something afterwards. Since there's no other way for me to crew it this turn. If I go Smith into Mech, we still only have two power. And uh, Smith into Bangbuster also can be crewed. So yeah, Hangar seems like the play. And then they might field the Ruin, but we've got a backup Hangar. So that's fine. And then do I want to play Smith or Bankbuster this turn? Might want to go for Bankbuster to play around more creature removal. Even though we potentially miss out on some plus one counters. So they might go for Field of Rune here, which eats up most of their turn. And the Rite of Oblivion takes care of our Bankbuster, sadly. Okay. So... Now what? Probably Hangar the Plow again, hit for six. And then play some stuff after. And hope to hit something powerful with the Ingenious Smith. Opponent keeps Valky around to maybe sacrifice to the right of Oblivion. Search Hacker and Mechanic are both useful. They don't have another Field of Ruin, so we still have our Hangar to rely upon. So I think we take the Search Hacker and play Mobilizer. So now our opponent's certainly incentivized to get rid of Valky before we kill it. Shambling Ghast. Luckily can't take out Ingenious Smith by itself. But might be the target of a right.
Our opponent is going to pass with a bunch of mana available. We could play Search Hacker killing Valky. Would grow the Smith to be able to crew mech, and then we still have a mechanic in case something goes wrong. Seems fine. Could also keep the mech in case they play more valuable creature or planeswalker in the future. But this is also just a 5 5 menace thanks to the hangar. Could see something like Deadly Disputes. Alright. Fair enough. So I could play the mechanic to potentially help crew the mech so the smith can attack. But then it could also die to the ghasts, minus one, minus one. So I think we just crew with the smith here. And hit for essentially nine damage. Although they probably chump with the ghast. They might have another deadly dispute. Gonna be a safekeeping, making it indestructible instead. Okay, do I feel the need to play mechanic? Not really. Also potentially puts an extra counter on Smith if we wait a turn. And then we've got several vehicles that can help us cross the finish line potentially. Putin does have seven mana, so they could cast a Tybalt for the red using the treasure which can go after our artifacts as well. It's going to be a right taking out a mobilizer. So they should be able to survive here. Can play giant ox and mechanic to crew both vehicles now. And then the smith still gets to attack. So now if they don't have anything, they would be dead. And not too afraid of overextending here, since we still have our hangar to enable our vehicles. Another deadly dispute. So they'll have to make treasure and hope to hit a 2-mana instant that saves them. And yeah, they might have found a Vanishing Verse. Fair enough. So our opponent falls to 2. Still facing two vehicles, and the mechanic itself is also lethal. They're out of permanence to sacrifice to another right of Oblivion. And yeah, Vanishing Verse also pretty awkward against our deck, as it doesn't hit our colorless artifacts. Another Binding can deal with one vehicle. So our opponent actually has a fair bit of removal for our various vehicles, which is not always the case for control decks if they rely on sweepers or vehicles can sort of ignore those. Unless that sweeper happens to be Farewell, which can exile artifacts. Vanishing Verse deals with Ox, but Mech Hanger steals the show here, letting us turn on our various vehicles. Awesome, on to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with an acceptable hand, I would say. Especially if we draw a third land. We can crew plow by channeling Born to Drive on three. And whenever we have access to turn three plow, we go for it. Opponent on a mono green deck with turn two sculptor, so they could play their own vehicle here with uh, Asika's chariot. They actually had Poseichu, but uh, decided to play it as a land instead. And a pack leader. Yeah, that's a pretty good turn as well. Well, I think we still stick to the plan here. Channel attack. Use that extra mana to play Smith and Mechanic. Smith 
So yeah, now between Mech Hanger, Born to Drive making two pilot tokens, and the uh, Mobilizer Mech, we have a ton of ways to enable Plow on turn three. So we'll go for Smith plus Mechanic to give us a bit of a board presence. Finding Mobilizer Mech or Mechanic. Both are good. The Mobilizer Mech would help us crew plow in the future. Although we've got a lot of pilots, so maybe I want the extra creature here. Although I could see the advantage of a flying vehicle to maybe get in some evasive damage. Soaring City can also be channeled, potentially. Opponent Brawls or Smith. Controlling the Sculptor for the extra snow permanent here. So they will get to draw a card of Pack Leader. Another Blizzard Brawl. Yeah, opponent's got a very good hand against the creature deck with double brawl. Levels of ranger class, so they get to hit for eight and draw card. But let's see if the plow can keep us in the game. Can still crew it. Giant Ox can also help. So if I were to play Giant Ox, I can crew plow and attack for eight and then use a mana to use Soaring City to bounce the pack leader. Kind of like that idea. Also reasonable to, instead of playing Giant Ox, add a Bank Buster to the board, for instance. So we're trying to set them back on tempo a little bit. And then Giant Ox will also be a pretty good blocker. Opponent stays back, a backup plow is not bad. Okay, so... Can crew plow with probably the pilots to keep Giant Ox back. That's gonna attack, opponent's gonna have to block it, so they're probably gonna trade. And then we'll have six mana, which lets me play all my vehicles out, or potentially draw with a bank buster. That seems good. Potent trades for troll. And then could go Bankbuster, draw, play, plow. Could play double Bankbuster and plow, which we can all potentially crew next turn. Might be better. All right, so we've got the mono green deck on the ropes, despite them having a pretty good start. Another pack leader. And another Ranger class, bonus empty-handed. And they're probably gonna have to play defense here, so they're unable to enable pack tactics. We draw. So I can send in all the vehicles. How would our opponent block? They can trade pack leader for plow. Double block, double block. I would lose all my vehicles. Doesn't seem great when we can just play the long game with Bankbuster. Although, also kind of don't want the opponent to keep all their pack leaders to draw cards with. So, maybe we can start by drawing with a bank buster. Maybe crew, plow, and trade that for at least a pack leader. Yeah, I guess we can start there. And now finding the flying vehicle would be quite nice. So... Crew plow, probably using the pilot still. Put 
going on double walks with wolves instead. And then I can play mechanic and then we can either draw with bangbuster or threaten to crew it to present a 4-4 blocker. And then our opponent may start uh, drawing with pack leaders but that also puts them potentially in danger of dying on the way back. They do get to make a troll token end of turn. Levels up ranger class so they can grow both pack leaders. So the uh, pack leader cannot grow its toughness using the ability. So I think I'm okay crewing a bank buster and then we can block and activate on the way out to trade for a pack leader, assuming there's no combo tricks. Although it looks like they drew Master's Rebuke. Ouch. Okay. Search hacker is nice. So Ox can block a pack leader, soak up some damage. And now Search hacker could kill their troll token if that maybe sets up lethal another Search hacker. Say so if we play Search hacker, kill the troll, can crew the bank buster with Giant Ox, attack with all, and then our opponent would have to chump Bankbuster with the Sculptor of Winter. Yeah, I think that leaves us in a reasonable spot. falls to two. Got another search hacker in hand to clear a blocker potentially. Can now deal six damage with three vehicles. So their opponent's between a rock and a hard place. They kind of have to attack to draw more cards, but if they attack, they risk dying on the way back. So their opponent's just going to go for it. Maybe a chariot making multiple blockers can still help them. Invoke the Ancients, making two four fives. It's gonna put up a fight here. And a Blind Blade, 1-1 one, one Death Touch. Okay, so if we play Mech, kill one of the four fives, then we should be able to just attack for lethal here. Can crew the Mech using Mechanic. Crew Bangbuster using Giant Ox. Attack with all. And we'll get at least two damage in. Alright, sweet. Beat a pretty good draw from a Mono Green deck. All thanks to Plow. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. And what do we think of this hand? It's got potential with a Mech being able to crew Colossal Plow essentially. I'll keep it. And then probably fine to skip my one drop so we can guarantee two drop on turn two. And then I think we play the Colossal Plow first and then if we draw land next turn I could play Mobilizer mech and then crew it with the Mechanic and then crew the Colossal Plow which makes more mana so we can play more stuff out. It's definitely the higher upside play. Opponent on blue-white. And generally speaking, we don't mind playing against control decks as sweeper effects. At least the regular sweepers don't deal with our vehicles. Opponent's got the bank buster. 
Now, what's the play? I guess it's just Mobilizer Mech. Could also go for Mechanic plus Portable Hole their Bank Buster. Don't think that's as appealing. So let's go for the Mech. And then next turn, if there's no Counterspell, we can get busy with the Colossal Plow. They might have their own Portable Hole, which we can also get rid of. Alright, Grease Fang, so... They've got some Vehicle Reanimation Synergy. Okay, so... Can play Hotshot Mechanic. Can do the whole Crew Chain, hit the opponent for 9 as well. And then we'll have 5 mana. Which is enough for, I guess, Portable Hole, their Bank Buster. Play my Bank Buster, maybe draw a card with it. That sounds good. So, probably want this on white still, in case we need to play multiple white spells in the same turn. This can make white mana for Mechanic. Smash. And a backup mechanic is useful in case they remove the one in play. Alright, not a bad turn. Opponent's got Tesserets. Can maybe discard a vehicle for them to reanimate with Grease Fang. And yeah, opponent's got the Surge Hacker mech, so... That's their best case scenario here. Although they're still in a bit of trouble. They might leave Grease Fang back on defense now, to try and protect Tezzeret. But then it's most likely gonna have to chump. So what's next? Can play a backup mechanic. Could even go Ingenious Smith into mechanics, it picks up a counter, although... Wouldn't be able to crew anything right now. But it might still be okay. And then... We can uh, still go after Tesseret here. Finding a backup plow is nice. So we'll crew this. Animate plow. And then both at Tesserets. Pwn probably trades for Grease Fang here. And then we get to play a backup Colossal Plow. Opponent lets Tezzeret go, fair enough. So next turn they can replay the Search Hacker if they want to. So do I still want to play another Plow when I probably won't be able to crew it? I guess I'm better off just drawing with the Bank Buster. In case of maybe a Sweeper that prevents me from uh, crewing my vehicles in the first place. They have a mech hanger, so another land would also do it. Fleeting Spirits can help them discard the Surge Hacker. So another good combo with Grease Fang. Mechanic down. Can still play an artifact to grow the Smith, so it can crew the Mobilizer mech. Another plow. Okay. Portable hole, exiling spirits. Probably not gonna work out if they can just flicker it in response. So, have to play another vehicle. Let's make it another plow. Yeah, I guess using Portable Hole would uh, prevent the Spirit from trading for a Plow, but since we have so many in hand, I don't really care. So I'm fine with that trade. Make more mana. I guess they could discard a whole bunch of cards to give it First Strike eventually. 
That seems fine by me. Alright, they're just gonna soak up the hits by flickering it afterwards. Which I guess was still a reason to go for a portable hole, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Okay, there's our pilots, which can also help crew, and a treasure to activate the hangar. And then probably fine to play plow, and then next turn the mech can finally deal with Grease Fang. Right, opponent's got a mech from hand, so they can actually kill both my creatures now. They also needed two vehicles to actually deal enough damage to the smith to kill it, since two would not have been enough. So our opponent stays back, born to drive, excellent as well. Can help me crew several vehicles. Still tempted to kill Greasefang, although it is realistic for the opponent to just have another copy in hand at this point, since they haven't done much else. So, I think going for Born to Drive is still probably the play. And then do I want to Portable Hole the Fleeting Spirits? They wouldn't be able to crew the mech with it. Yeah, that might be okay, actually. One's going to flicker, discarding a search hacker mech, and then we get to crew mobilizer, which has been our MVP here, turning on all these colossal plows. And Bangbuster can get in there too. Opponent can crew their search hacker to save Grease Fang. Take seven down to one. And then with the leftover mana, probably play another bank buster. If we hadn't gone for a portable hole, we could have potentially played a search hacker second main to kill Grease Fang. But yeah, despite all the opponents returning of uh, search hackers we still got there sweet on to the next one all right we're on the play and what do we think of this hand bankbuster double born to drive and a search hacker mech so we have ways of crewing our vehicles bankbuster can draw doesn't have a plow in it but we probably can't always mulligan hands without plow sure we'll try it And then we can decide if we want to play a grindy game and just draw some cards, or if we want to go on the beatdown plan. Opponent on our reds, potential aggro deck. Mono red so far. So there's certainly an argument for just uh, channeling Born to Drive and attacking for four. Could also just pass, and then if they have a haste creature, we can maybe ambush it. And if not, we'll just draw a card. Opponent's got to play with fire end of turn, that's aggressive. So maybe more of a burn deck. Synthesizer is fine. The disadvantage of drawing in the opponent's turn is that we won't be able to play a one drop if we draw one like the mechanic okay so i think i'm still fine drawing here instead of channeling right, and there is the mechanic which we would have been able to play otherwise smith is nice can play smith see what we pick up and then still draw with a bank buster if we want 
They might kill the smith before we can put a counter on it. Which is fine by me. And find prototype is a nice way to kind of get on the board. And we'll keep the hangar a surprise. And then just draw with the bankbuster, I think. Happy to play a slower game. Alright, Raichu. I guess now we cannot necessarily ambush the Raichu. Since we don't have Born to Drive available. And then next turn's gonna be a 5 5, so yeah. A little unfortunate, but that's fine. Can just play a Search Hacker to kill it. And then. Maybe I'm better off going Mechanic, Crew Bankbuster hit for 4. Sure. Yeah, this deck kind of does it all. We've got interaction, card draw, creatures to deal damage, a bit of ramp with Colossal Plow. So this deck might be the real deal. Definitely been quite impressed so far. The only weakness, I guess, would be something like Farewell, exiling all artifacts. Another Raichu. Gets in for four. So what's next? Probably want to get the prototype in play to start generating chum blockers. Can play a smith first. In the hopes of finding like a colossal plow. Or uh, I guess another search hacker would be nice. All right, that completely bricked, doesn't happen often, but from time to time it can come up. Prototype will grow the smith at least. And then I want to attack with at least one vehicle here so we can generate a token. So I could crew search hacker with a mechanic, even though search hacker could maybe trade for Raichu. It's probably still the play. And then the pilot that's left over can still help us crew another vehicle. Opponent's gonna shock the smith, fair enough. So we can either jump with a token, if they try and kill it I can crew a vehicle in response to block with instead. Seismic wave. So, two damage to any target, one damage to each non-artifact creature. Okay, so... Crew Bankbuster in response. And then we have to decide if we want a chum block here. Opponent hits us for what would be five. Yeah, probably good to block. Mobilizer mech, not bad. So let's see if I play Mobilizer mech, channel born to drive. We might just have lethal here, 8, 9, 10, I guess we're one short. I guess we might be able to play it slightly safer. If we just channel born to drive and keep up another born to drive. Yeah, that's probably fair. So, can crew prototype. And search hacker using mechanic. Attack for eight. Make another one one. And have two more one ones at instant speed in case of a seismic wave. And that should be safe enough. And then next turn we will be able to close out the game. Just figuring out how we can possibly lose. And trying to play around that. 
Another synthesizer. Yeah, there's a seismic wave. So that would have uh, provided lethal. So now we've got a million ways to end the game. Kind of like playing a mech to kill the Raiju. And then we can do the daisy chain of crewing vehicles, including even crewing the mobilizer mech. So a lot of different ways to potentially end the game here. All right, sweet. Very impressed by the deck's performance. We face a good variety between aggro decks and control decks. So it seems like the deck has all the angles covered. Like I said during the gameplay, we've got the tools to beat aggro with a little bit of early interaction, but mainly the life gain from Colossal Plow, the high toughness from the Ox helping us block, and then just the big vehicles, which also include a bit of removal with the Search Hacker mech. And then against control decks, if they rely on sweeper effects, we only really need to commit one or two creatures to the board to help us crew our vehicles. And even then we still have Mech Hanger, which can also help crew vehicles, even without needing any actual creatures creatures in play, so we can dodge all those sorcery speed sweepers, and a lot of instant speed spot removal like Vanishing Verse doesn't even hit some of our vehicles. So yeah, there's a lot to like about this list, and Colossal Plow is better than ever before with now a ton of new ways to help crew it, so it might be the real deal now. So yeah, very pleased with the deck, gets my approval, and also not the most expensive deck to put together as we're not playing any mythic rares, so that's always a bonus. So that'll do it for today's gameplay, wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.